get you some. Oh, yeah. Mate, it's lucky she can cook. Wow! G'day, lovelies. Welcome back. Alrighty, for tonight's dessert, we're going to do something really simple. Hot apple cake. First thing we want to do is preheat our ovens to 180 degrees Celsius. Second thing we want to do is grab out a 20 centimetre roughly round loose based cake tin and we want to line the bottom and line the sides with baking paper. Then into a small saucepan we want to put 185 grams of butter. I always use unsalted. I never use salted. Even when it says use salted, I never do. To the butter we want to add two thirds of a cup of caster sugar and then we'll sit that on the stove top for a minute. Now into a small bowl we want to whisk three eggs. Once we've done that we want to add one third of a cup of milk and just whisk that in and set it aside. Now for our apples I am using a can of a pie fruit apple slices. Um, you can use if you've got fresh apples um, you can simmer some up in some water and then when they're soft and cooked through drain them properly and we want one cup okay make sure you've cooled it right down um, so we want one cup of either pie apples or one cup of fresh apples cooked you know what I hate freaking can openers either they can put a man on the moon but they can't get a can opener that works I mean look it just destroyed that and I cannot get it open so I'm going to tip it upside down into a bowl and cut the other end and hope I don't lose my shit. Okay, well after that, a nightmare. I've got it open. Alright, so I'm just going to fill up one cup. Alright, next what we want to do is get out a large bowl with a sifter. Alright, we need one and a half cups of self-raising flour and half a cup of plain flour. And then we just want to sift them into the bowl. Once we've done that, just stick a hole in the bottom of it. Okay, we're also going to need some cinnamon, which is optional. And we're going to need some golden syrup as well. Is get our butter and sugar. We want to put it on a low heat. And once it starts melting down, start stirring it. And once the sugar has all dissolved, so you can put the spoon on the bottom and you can't hear any crunching, she's ready. Alright, well I've been doing that for ages and that's as melted as the sugar is that I'm going to get it. You can still hear it on the bottom, but you get that. Okay, in with the milk and egg. And the butter and sugar. Now we want to mix it until it's just mixed through, alright? We don't beat the crap out of this one. Okay, once we've got it just mixed through like a so, I'll get a couple more lumps out. Doing it gently. Okay. I always like to put the drop base cake tins on a tray so if any leaks, it doesn't go on the bottom of the oven and it stink the joint out. Now we want to put roughly half because you know how bad I am with that. And then we want to spread it out onto the bottom. Alright, now we want to get our cup of apples. I better make sure you're here. Yeah. Alright, and we just want to spoon little bits over all of it. Okay, once we've done that, if you want to use a little bit of cinnamon, you can get a pinch of it and sprinkle it over. Now we want to drizzle two tablespoons of golden syrup over the top. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. Now we want to get the rest of the cake mix and we want to spoon it over. Once we've done that, we just want to gently spread it out over the top, very gently. We don't want to spread it thin, we just want to push it to cover everything. Like so. <laughs> now, the oven is hot enough. Banger in there. 40 minutes later in my plain electric oven. And mate, she smells good. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. So I stuck it in. Come out beautiful and clean. She's ready.
I do remember it stays hot for ages because of the apple in it. Wow, that's hot. All oh, that gooey, <laughs> golden syrup. All right, what I'm gonna do is gently turn this one over. So I will just get the tea towel ready over here. Slide it onto the tea towel. Turn it over. Get the base off. Get whatever plate you want to serve it on. Sit it on top. Flip it over. Beautiful. Oh, yum. The smell of that. How old school are we going? So you want to serve it hot or warm with either just normal plain fresh cream. Uh, some people might like it with ice cream. Uh, the rest of it you can cover up when it's gone cold and store it in the fridge. And if you've got a microwave, nuke it for like 15 seconds a slice and heat it up that way again. I'm going to tap icing sugar all over it. Alright, let's cut a piece using the wrong knife. Oh, listen to that beautiful little crunch on the outside. Shut up and stop talking and I will. <laughs> I never can work out how to show you properly. I lift it on that side. Put a light on it. Can you see that? With the apple through the middle. <laughs> A little bit of fresh cream. Mate. Dessert for eight. Well, I just smashed a piece. I cannot wait for one of you guys to try this and just tell me how freaking awesome it is. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves an awesome week and I will see you next Sunday.